Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with more Hearthstone. I think I'm overemphasizing the TH there. Well, I probably not. I probably am not. The, yeah. Uh, woken up a little bit more. Still slightly sleepy. Yeah. So last episode we had win two with a paladin or something and then on top of it we had win five with a paladin or something and then we also got win two with shaman and warlock this episode we are going to do shaman and warlock back and forth maybe if we get them done really fast we will work on the other quests it, from the very beginning, I could see it was going to be a difficult set of quests this recording period. Uh, it started off with win five of two characters, win five of two characters. I changed one to this win two with Shaman and Warlock, but that's still not a great overlap. I. Probably dropped the ball Jane. somehow and didn't curate my quest as good as I should have. So, we're looking, unless we get really, really lucky, we are looking at a potential overtime on the next episode, potential even just giving up completely. But, So, on my first turn here, I have the choice. I can either play a 0 to 3, or I can summon a totem. I think all I need is summon a totem. We've already got our major strategy out here, which is the b Bloodlust. Bloodlust is the one we want. So I could deal 4 damage now with an overload of 1. Next turn I could use this, or I can summon this. Probably will summon the raid leader. Give your minions plus three. So on the ten turn, I could potentially give all my minions plus six. <laughs> Although it would probably be better to do this on the fifth turn than the sixth turn. Here's our guy. Exactly who I want. Done. So I need two random enemies to play this overload card. Soundly defeated me there. Ready to ride. Take my steel. So 
Let's do that. Well, actually, I should have probably played this first. Next turn, I could play a Bloodlust for C5, 10, 14 damage right off the bat. I think that might be the end of the <laughs> I guess not. Right, so. Let's go ahead and play this. And I can either play Mana Wraith. Yeah, I'm gonna play Mana Wraith. Job done. I think Mana Wraith is better than a potential shield guy. Do not like that. Really wrecked my my play. The frost wolves stand ready. Job done. I kind of feel like I have control, but I'm not really feeling it. Not feeling like I'm gonna win for sure. It's a little iffy. Next turn is 10. We could potentially... You could potentially just have... Bloodlust go, let's see. What would Bloodlust give me here? It would give me five plus. Let's see. Ah, let's just do it. I'm not even gonna count. So. Gonna just kill this guy. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Didn't even. Couldn't even attack with that one. Next turn, I'm feeling like I can't, I'm gonna win. Five plus three is eight, plus another five is thirteen, and plus another four is <sighs> seventeen. I got the best deal anywhere. <coughs> So, play this, play this, and play this. Didn't see it coming. Great. Great. Victory. We only need... That was the Shaman. We only need a Warlock victory. If we get it in this run, we've got three more games we can use to work on our last quest. And if for some amazing win streak goes on, and we get those done in this episode, well, that gives me a full free episode to redo the next deck that desperately obviously well done. To be redone. They the need to be redone, but they also need to be too. It's 
almost. It's, well, it's not even almost. It is very debatable what I should. Instead of redoing custom decks with no cards difference, since I haven't gotten any cards, to just play more arena runs. I'm glad this. See, would the spell damage plus one affect this? I don't believe it would. See, they they need a new term for this. When it says deal three damage to your thing, it needs to be deal three like minion damage or effect damage. And then they need to come out with a whole new series of cards that not say effect damage or minion damage plus one. Probably it should be called effect damage just to avoid confusion. Well, I have no choice but to use this card. <laughs> Death rattles trigger twice. Stalag and Fugin. That's who I think of when I see Baron Rivendale. Although. When we are talking ridiculous Thaddeus uh, strategies that I can never actually pull off, I would much rather have Kel'Thuzad and Stalag like and Fugin. <laughs> because this one will only give me potentially uh, two Thaddeuses. Kel'Thuzad will get me an entire entire board of Thaddeuses, if played right. It's not likely it would ever get that far, but I do want to do it at some point in the future. So I can now do 4 damage to all the characters. So, possibly the very last move we make. Why does he have Hellfire? I mean, that's what he played. Yeah, he played Hellfire. How did he even get that? Put a copy of a random card. So he used Mind Vision to get my card and played it. Which... Interesting. Wonder. See, but that's why those types of cards are useless. It's just not. It's too random. It's just too random. He could have gotten a copy of this, he probably won't even get to a seven. Ready for action! Here we go, deal two damage. If it kills it, draw a card. I'll do that. Not to lose that card. I don't think I need to really stress it too much. Too damage to himself. I no real reason to bring that guy out. I'll bring this and then do this. And corruption will kill this guy my next turn, I believe. We've got our Fugin out. If we get Stalag out, that would be really cool. Bef but 
if Baron Riverdale did that, but I don't even think we're gonna get that far. I wonder. Guess we'll play Stormwind Champion next turn. Unless we just draw a one mana thing that's really useful. If I can get one more damage to Fugin here, I could then do four damage to everybody. That will leave this guy at one and kill these two. And give me two Thaddeus. Vaporization commencing! Land to the slaughter! For master! So all I need to do is find a way to do one damage to this guy. This guy will die. I must consider. Someone injured? I. This is gonna be fun. So, first thing I wanna do is commencing. attack this. And might as well. To the now I wanna attack master. this. Oh. Now I want to do this. Thaddeus and Stereo. Now I can either put out my taunt guy or I can bring up the attack. Let's just bring I'm up the right. attack. Job's done. What are you gonna do about that? Huh? Oh darn, you killed one of my Thaddeuses. Such a shame. He's gonna play, he's gonna keep trying. It's not gonna save him. Behold the might of storm wind! It is very hard. You die now! Thank you for obliging and dying with that instant. So, on rare occasions, that actually works. On rare occasion, doubling the death rattle with Fugin's Sog works. I had to force it to happen myself, but we did it. And on top of doing that, we are now done with that quest two wins in a row great so now all i have to do is work on paladin and warrior for this episode three more games so let's see paladin and warrior it wouldn't be terrible if particularly I'm I mean it's silly to say this but I'm still kind of in early days of recording Hearthstone Uther, I guess cool comparison to other people and so I will that, fight with honor I have 
actually very few recordings in reserve. So if I went over, instead of doing overtime, I should make an extra episode. I, last time I did that, I was not I very happy about doing it. it. It was not very a fun situation at that time, but... Truth is, having an extra video would give me more of a reserve. I'm... I've, I will eventually have more of a reserve anyways, but... I could speed that process up. I just don't like what it'd have to do to, to get an extra video. And you just never know. If you break that third recording up, the extra, the fourth one you make might only be like for one game. Or it might be for eight games. This guy is a 2 2 with the divine shield for 2 mana. This guy is a 1 1 with no divine shield for 2 mana. Shielded mini bot. And he's a mega. He destroyed one of his mana crystals for that? Wow. Talk about early game. Too early to be doing something like that. Follow the rule. Weapons go. ready. Job done. Shield failing. Destroy a demon. Alright, so what do I want to do? Best move is to do this. Last warning. He may be in trouble now. <laughs> Implosion. Okay. So let's go ahead and protect ourselves from the imp and do another hit to the face. These imps are the ones you would want to sacrifice to gain your health back. Implosion would work good with Frostwolf Warload though. Get several new characters. Alright, so I have Handle it. six mana, which happens just Handle to be it. enough to get this much. <laughs> oh, come on. Last one. He is struggling. Definitely, definitely struggling. If he could do two damage to everybody, then he'd be all right. But then he'd... you are not prepared. Whenever you play a card, uh, he saw the writing on the wall. All right, so that was Paladin. Let's do a warrior. And that worked really, really well. We got lucky. I have to say we got lucky. And notice we're up to 890 in gold again. Yeah. 
Versus James. Seems like we're just ever so slightly gaining gold instead of spending it. I suppose it's been balanced out to do that, though, so. Destroy a damaged enemy. That's not going to work on your first turn. This isn't going to work on your first turn. And a six mana is definitely not going to work on your first turn. This will... Hello. We can use that, but it's just gonna... <laughs> Greetings. My magic will tear you apart. Okay, so that's strike two already on her talking. Dark Calibur. Doesn't really mean anything. Because you wouldn't actually measure darkness in calibers. As far as I understand it, you would measure darkness in lumens, uh, maybe a heat temperature, depending on what industry you're measuring it for. But a caliper is for like the width of something. We must cleanse so, the sun well. If you were a dark caliber, that just means. Your width is dark. I deal two damage. Watch this. And then this. We're back in the game. Glad to be back in the game. Well played. We'll play this guy next. This guy after that. This guy maybe this after that. For the war chief! For Hellscream! Maybe we'll play this guy next. Yeah, if I play this and this, that'd be pretty nice. Let's play this for protection, and this for offense, and then we'll go ahead and attack the face. This. Let's see what happens when I attack like this. Yeah, I saw that coming. Vaporize. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen Vaporize. When a minion attacks your hero, destroy it. I've seen cards like it, but I don't know if they were vaporized or not. Okay, so. Get this out there. Let's. Use. Taste my steel! This here. This here. This here. This here. Yep. That worked out pretty well. Running a little short on cards. We must cleanse the sun well. Cleanse it. Alright, so... The proper thing to do here is whirlwind. And whirlwind. And summon this guy. Done. That's all my cards. If you can uh, take this guy out, me. which he has. He's gonna kill this guy no matter what on the next turn, so might as well pick him. <laughs> Oh, God. 
down the ten. So, you know, getting him down the ten, get him down the fifteen. It really doesn't matter as much as you would think. It's very strange. Unless you've got the strategy, unless you got the cards to get them down to zero from wherever they are at. Ten is almost exactly the same as thirty. Job done. My strategy at the moment is to do nine more damage with this guy, which I'm not gonna be able to do. Because he's gonna kill that guy. So now I have no strategy. So now my strategy is to charge in there and do three more damage. But we know this guy is just gonna get killed by her spell. So I need to draw another card this next turn that lets that has charge that lets me do damage. If I get a run of bad cards, if they get a bunch of taunt things like this, I'm gonna be in trouble. Like bad card, can't do anything with that. It gives them another turn to attack me. Another turn to build up their defenses. Easily still win this. She could. I've got a huge time. Job done. Could have attacked this guy and got rid of him, but it's not gonna help. I gotta n nibble away at this health. Arcane Reaper. Armor. I'm just gonna use this whole thing for. N neither one of these attacks are gonna get to the face. Summoning portal open. gonna save me. They've got Job done. 11 damage on the board now. If they can do two more damage, well they won. Played. Behold the might of storm wind. And they can. By far. Great, great example of how it just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, you got to do it and it looked like you were going to win. If you don't have that killing blow strategy, if you don't have that figured out, then you're in trouble. Alright, so I believe this is the fourth game we played. They've been going by so fast. I will fight with honor. Okay, so give a minion to buy shield. Terrible. Can't use that on the first turn. I and I can't play. Noble Sacrifice, you can't play. Frost Wolf can't play. Do I, did I need to keep both of those? Probably not. But I see a strategy here, man. Key. Mana raise. Noble Sacrifice. What did I call that? The key that said coin. Job done. Coin mana raid. Noble sacrifice on the next turn. 
Well, and since we'll have an extra mana, we'll do an eye for an eye on the next turn too. Next turn, we reinforce. Turn after that, deal three damage if he has anybody out there, otherwise we go raid leader. Seems to be having a bit of trouble some, for some reason. Grim, I, have I played Grim before? It feels like I have. Maybe all the names are just blurring together and I'm starting to think yeah, I've played all of them before. That's a possibility. More damage. The battle. The battle. Man, I love how fast Grim is playing here. I mean, he's seeing his hand. He's ending his turn fast. He's doing poorly, and he's not sitting here trying to stall for time, trying to irritate me to to concede. Excuse me, let's see. Well, I do believe this is the right move. The battle! Job's done. Could not attack him directly, but I can indirectly attack him. So this card would not have worked on him. Okay, so finally he's getting somewhere. I could silence this one. Is that really necessary though? I kind of yeah, it just kind of is necessary to see. Well, Deal three damage, draw the card. Let's do that, and then ah! put, put him out. Red alert. What? What is this? Give a minion plus two, plus four, and spell damage. Wow. For three mana? That's a little interesting. Alright, so here's the good person to silence. I could do two damage to it, and then it would be six. I could summon this. Summon this. Reporting for duty. And let's do this. We must cleanse the sun well. Weapons ready. Job done. Frostwolf. Is someone injured? Good time to bring out the Frostwolf. I think. Attack. Thank you. Get down. Shoot. Ah oh, man, I should have played this first. Didn't count for me. We 
gotta get Push rid forward. of this guy. So what? Weapons ready. Here. The battle. Here. Oh. And one to the face. Job done. That should be good. Still has yet to do any damage to my face at all. So it's still two damage to all the enemies. Still three damage to you. Draw the card. Oh. Let's bring out the list. And let's do eight damage to the face. how many cards there are out there that will just destroy your creature because he has too much attack or too little attack. got this, but we're gonna have to be careful. Gonna have to be careful. He's got 12 he can do to my face now. No. Totally not fair. I guess it was a great strategy. He got lucky, he got all those cards. Look at all those cards he had to play to win, but he won. Let's just do one more. I believe this would be our sixth play for this episode, but let's just do one more for the fun of it. Then we'll call it an episode. Jaina! You asked for it. Victory or death! In Requel. It's an interesting name. I don't know what it means, but at least it sounds exotic. That's the funny thing about exotic n names is that they could be uh, bathroom like. Banyo says Spanish for bathroom, and so if you don't know that, it's like Banyo. What is Banyo? That must be something really cool. It sounds cool, and it's it's really isn't. That's a significant portion of the appeal, at least at the beginning to, of anime to me was. It, it, it was just exotic and new. I mean, by the time I started watching it, I was burned out, done with watching regular TV for the most part. There was not, even today's TV has gotten significantly more interesting than it was years ago. In the old days, there was far less channels, far less variety, far less interesting things. 
remember that at one time home improvement was the most popular show on TV if I remember being correctly and home improvement is just a family drama show comedy with a little bit of uniqueness in it but not that much Now we've gotten, at this point, we've gotten a lot more varied things on TV. We have, HBO has come up a lot to start off with. HBO used to be the channel that you didn't have and didn't have enough on it to justify having it. And in a lot of ways it's still true because the, their price is a little too expensive. But they do have things on their show. People actually talk about stuff that's on HBO, whereas before I, I didn't even have a clue what was on HBO. And really didn't care. But there's lots more science fiction. I was super happy when the Sci Fi Channel first came out. Now, my opinion has been let down 100% on what the Sci-Fi Channel did after do? about three or four years. Because they started the Sci-Fi Channel and I guess they thought that they were going to get um, everybody, just everybody that was on watching TV was going to start watching Sci-Fi. And it just isn't true. There's a good portion of people that don't want to watch sci-fi they don't understand it they cannot comprehend it or it just doesn't interest them and so they should have been happy with what they whatever ratings they were getting because i think they were pretty good at the beginning but they increasingly became less and less happy with their ratings increasingly they would shift out one person in charge with another I assume uh, I'm assuming that there is just a revolving door of people there because now they're saying they're gonna go back to the sci-fi roots and I don't believe it for a second I do not believe it but they have rebooted that channel many times trying to get more audience and I even people like me, who, who should be the people that want to watch it, don't want to watch it because we've been burned. We've been burned so fun. bad by the, the shows we liked. We liked Eureka. We liked Warehouse 13. Uh, there was tons of other stuff that I can't even remember it now. It's been so long. But there was shows on there we liked, and they just all get canceled. Mm -hmm. Everything gets canceled on there. Because and the reason they get canceled is they want, they demand too much viewership that they're just never going to get. It's like throwing a birthday party when you know one person, and then being upset when only one person shows up. Well, you only knew one person. You only invited one person. What did you expect? But people have crazy expectations all the time. And that's the sci-fi channel in a nutshell. And well played. The anime is somewhat related to that. There were movies that were played on the sci-fi channel that just did not ever even make it to DVD or VHS in America. I mean, I remember movies that never came over. The only way you would have ever seen them was that one night during a special month where they would show anime. And seeing that was amazing because even if that was during the time in which you got Toonami and saw cartoons that were 30 minutes, to see a two hour movie that's anime is totally different. It was amazing. 
lots of the sci-fi stuff they showed was amazing. Now the movies on sci-fi are just all these monster comedy things. They have no mentality to them at all. They have no interest of the, in them at all. It's just Sharknado, Sharknado 2. That's all it's become. And they say they're going to get away from that. And I'm glad they say that, but I don't believe them. I just can't have any faith in them anymore. Yeah. But the other channels have added tons more sci-fi. They've gotten away from all the family dramas. They've gotten away from everything has to be like I Love Lucy. They have they did that a little slowly, but they've done it now. And so there's way more on TV to see these days than there were in those days. And that was my point. And that's this episode. So I will probably jump into the next episode just a few minutes from now and continue my rant if I remember what I was even talking about because I've now ranted long enough that I don't even remember so we may have more rant next episode but that's the end of this episode so as always like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of the video all of that helps out and have a good evening